So on we move now to chapter 6. Um, we're going to begin with something a little bit interesting. <clears throat> we have this problem here that wants us to, oh, let's see, construct a probability distribution for the number of home runs for the Red Sox during the 2004 season. Now, um, to find relative frequency, which is what this probability would be, you'd add up this total and divide 37 by whatever that total is and so on. There's a trick, and there's actually a way to get the calculator to do that for you. So let me show you. Stat, edit, oops, I'm going to make this smaller so I can see. Okay, I need to clear out my old junk, so I'm going to press clear, enter, go over here and press clear, enter. Okay, so I'm going to type 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, no troubles, 37, 61, 36, 21, 5, 2. Now, I'm going to be extra crafty. I'm going to make the calculator find the sum of that total for me because I'm so lazy, I don't even feel like typing all this in. Now, if you want to add all these and figure out what they are, then so be it. So here's what I'm going to do. Stat, calc, one variable stats, but I want it on list 2 because what I really want to know is what do these numbers add up to. So list 2, enter. And right here, see that? capital, well, it's sigma, capital sigma, it means it's going to sum, add up all the variables, x, which in this case, since I put an L2, it thinks this column is my x column. So it's saying, look, they add up to 162. Cool. Alright, let me teach you a trick. This is so snazzy. What I want to do is I want to take this list 2 right here, and I want to divide everything by 162 to get my relative frequencies, right? So wait for it. Second, L2. I want to take L2, I want to divide it by 162, and then I'm going to have it store that information, right, so STO as second 3, and it's going to put it into L3 for me, so it's going to take every single value from list 2, divide it by 162, and store it in L3 for me. Snazzy, don't you think? Let me press enter. And you can see, there they are, 0.228. So that's what I'm saying. 37 divided by 162 would be 0.228. And then you could go to the right, 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 and you could see 0.3765. That would be the next one, 61 divided by 162. But wait, there's more. Because I stored this in L3, if I go to Stat, Edit, there they all are, right there. There are your relative frequencies. You can go over and you can press down, 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 and see more decimal places. But the calculator gives four or five, which is plenty. So there you go. That's how to find relative frequencies, and you could type them in or, you know, write them down on your sheet, etc. Okay, zero point three seven six five four, etc., etc., etc. Now, let's do some other stuff. Um, down here, oopsie. It's going to be down in a minute. It's going to want us to construct a histogram for that data. There it is. Okay. Now, how do I get the calculator to do a, get a histogram? Excuse me. So you go to second stat plot. Pick number one. That's fine. I want it to be on, but I want a histogram. See that guy right there? So down, right, right, enter. And then I'm going to tell it, um, it might say X list. My X list was L1. That was the number of home runs. My frequency, well, it's up to you. You could do L2, that was the number of games, or you could do L3. What you don't want to leave it as is 1, because the default is the number 1, which is not what you want. So you want L1, L3 for probabilities, L1, L2 for number of games. It'll work the same way either way. And then you press Zoom 9, just like always. Whenever we do, oopsie, that didn't work. Oh, I know why. Hold on. Go back in. It doesn't like the frequencies or excuse me, the relative frequencies. Let me try L2, because I did this just a minute ago. Oh, I might have forgotten to press enter. Eey. Okay, well, let me let me do it this way. And then we go to zoom, nine. There it is. There's my histogram. You don't often do a histogram with a calculator because it's pretty useless. Excel is much better, so go see my video tutorials for Excel on that. But if you want to know how to do it with a calculator, that's how. It's all in the stat plot area. All right, I'll see you here next time for computing the mean, variance, and standard deviation. That'll be the next tutorial.